political games and harsh and cruel uh, attempts at laws or laws that we're seeing in some states like Florida, that is not a reflection of the country moving to oppose LGBTQ plus communities. That is not what we see in data. That is not factual. Uh, and that is not where things stand. This is a political wedge issue and an attempt to win a culture war. And they're doing that in a way that is harsh and cruel uh, to a community of kids, especially. I'm, I'm like gonna get, emo uh, I'm gonna get emotional about this issue because I just, it's horrible. But, uh, but you know, it's, it's like kids who are bullied and they, 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 like all these leaders are, are taking steps to hurt them and hurt their lives and hurt their families. And you look at some of these laws in these states and it is going after parents who are in loving relationships who have kids. It's completely outrageous, um, but it is, it is a wedge issue. Sorry, I, I'm just, this is an issue that makes me completely crazy, um, but it is an issue that um, is a political wedge issue. It is not a reflection of where the country is. That's Jen Psaki. And uh, yeah, she she actually broke down in tears, uh, crying because children are being uh, used. They're being used in really malign ways. They're being used, you know, by, by, by people who just don't give a crap about their well-being, their happiness, their family, their home life, their uh, school life, about whether or not they're, they, they should be bullied. I mean, it's just increasing hostility in our communities, in our public schools, in a, you know, all for, all for self-preservation, all for political power. Uh, and it doesn't matter who has to, you know, get beat up. And it doesn't. And the next thing you know, you know, you see, uh, you know, dead children. That's the next thing. The next thing you see is, you know, Matthew Shepard. The next thing you see is people that are literally being killed uh, because people feel that they've been emboldened or empowered uh, to hurt them because they don't uh, they, they don't respect them. They don't understand them. Listen, I, I, I'm not interested in living in the past. I am not interested in going back to the, you know, the, the, the 50s or whatever, uh, you know, time machine these people want to take us back to. I, I swear to God, I don't want to go back to the old Soviet Union. I don't want to go back through the Holocaust. I don't want to go back through, you know, starving children or, 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 or doing experiments on twins. OK, this this whole attack that they're mounting is really old stuff. It's really, you know, the dehumanization of certain people it, in order to prop yourself up, in order to, you know, get people to vote for you, in order for people to feel like, yeah, that's who's to blame. And now they're down to blaming children. They're literally down to blaming the youngest, most, uh, you know, vulnerable, most innocent, most innocent among us. And that's exactly what you see going on in the world today. The, the, the most innocent, the youngest countries, you know, if you're smaller and younger, and, uh, you know, maybe you can't defend yourself against the old bastards, right, with, uh, you know, all their power that they've consolidated over a period of, you know, th a thousand years. Well, too bad. Then we just take you out. We, we siege your city. We surround you. We starve you. We beat you. We, we rape you. Uh, you know, we kill you. That is the problem. The problem is it's happening here. And you know what? It, it, you have people who know what those tactics are, and they're deploying them. The difference between... You know, what Trump did and what uh, DeSantis is doing is DeSantis is actually legislating it because he has a majority in the House and Senate and he's actually doing it. He's actually doing it. He's banning books. He's destroying, uh, you know, free and fair maps. He's changing uh, the ID laws. He's pulling the drop boxes from Florida where it, it's already a three, four hour line to, to, to vote on, uh, you know, uh, early voting days in this in this place anyway. Do you know what I mean? He's taking away, uh, you know, chunks of rights, uh, you know, trying to catch up to Oklahoma's hatred of women and the misogyny. You know, why? Why? Because it's working for him. But what's working for him has to be named. And what's working for him is the dehumanization of people. The dehumanization of children, the dehumanization of parents who Maybe the same sex. Maybe it's, you know, two moms. Maybe it's two dads. They need to not be seen as human because if they're not human, if they're something other than human, if they're vermin or if they're insects or if they're, you know, uh, uh, something you don't understand or something you disagree with or something that you inherently were told to be afraid of or fearful of, then you can hurt them. Then you can because they're not human. They're less than human. And, you know, calling somebody a pedophile is about the lowest the lowest you can go to dehumanize a person, especially if they're not, especially if they're not, and they are. I mean, there's a long list of them 
a long list of them, and they've been trying to uh, point at others for the longest, trying to deflect from themselves that they are what you know people fear the most. They are the most despicable uh, kind of person that uh, we have to share this planet with. They they literally don't care about humankind. They only care about them themselves. I mean, how how can how can Ron DeSantis take on big business? How can he forget what the GOP is supposed to be fighting for? Because he understands that what he's fighting for is Ron DeSantis, and everybody must go. Just like Putin, Putin is fighting for his survival now at this point, right? Because Putin, if he loses, Putin will be uh, you know. Uh, maybe brought on brought up for uh, charges by his own people in his own country if people in russia actually had an open society if they had free and fair newspapers if they had free and fair uh, you know uh, media if they didn't have russia one which is nothing but a propaganda network or or channel 24 also a probably like we have oan and, and and newsmax and fox they do it too but that's all they have that's all they have and, uh, you know, if the people there ever found out what the, what was really going on, Putin would be a goner, and he knows it. So now it's, you know, he's got to dehumanize everybody, everybody. It doesn't matter who. He is conscripting drug addicts at this point. He is conscripting drug addicts and graybeards, which is what they call old men there. They call, uh, you know, us uh, old ladies, we're, we're babushkas <laughs> or grannies. That's what they call us. Once we're, you know, o- over 40, we're of no use to them anymore. So, uh, you know, and the, and the guys who are, you know, over 60, they're gray beards. I, they, they got drugs, uh, drug addicts, and they're literally going and collecting them, collecting them and conscripting them, no matter if they're 15 or they're, you know, 65, and putting them on trains and putting them on buses and handing them weapons and the trains and the buses have locked doors they can't they can't escape they can't leave and giving them guns and telling them go kill some ukrainians and now you know we're starting to hear some of the phone calls that they're making you know calling home uh, and you've heard some of them i have more of them today they're they're just they're horrendous saying, uh, you know, well, they told us this and they told us that. And then I ended up shooting a woman in the head and uh, she had a bullet in her head and she was laying on the ground and she was shaking. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. But they told me her brother was a Nazi. They told me her brother was and she was doing stupid things. So I we shot her in the head and then she was shaking. on the head. And the wife is on the other end of the phone going, oh, please stop. And then you have a kid who's obviously a Chechen. OK. And uh, the kid is is calling his wife. And his wife tells him she's with another guy. And the kid is like beside himself, right? Beside himself because he thinks he's doing so. And she's like, I don't care what you're doing. I never cared what you were doing. You go do what you're doing. Go ahead, go kill people. I don't care. And then you have a little boy. I mean, he to me, he's a little boy. He must be, you know, just 17, 18 years old, who calls his father and tells his father that he's been captured by the Ukrainians, that he's been captured and they're allowing him to call home. They've given him a phone and they said, you know, you can call your dad if you if you want to talk to him and tell him you're safe and that, you know, you're not on the battlefield and that you're with us now. And, uh, you know, we have you and you're just calling to let him know you're alive so that he can, you know, take a deep breath of relief. The kid calls his father and his father says, what, what kind of BS is this? What did they brainwash you? Did they punch you in the face? What do you mean you're with them? You get back out there. And, and, and the guy who handed him the phone to call his dad actually says to him, he's listening to his dad in Russian, and, you know, Ukrainians speak Russian and Ukrainian and English, as you now know. And he says, is that really your father? And the kid looks at the phone like, damn, that really is my father. They're all brainwashed over there, brainwashed by this propaganda machine that just has been running for 22 years. But if they ever found out, right, then uh, they, they, would, they would go crazy about Putin. They would hold him, you know, accountable for everything that he's done. They would, they, you know, and that, so he's fighting for his survival. And this is what it looks like when you dehumanize people in order for you to survive. And that is what is going on in the GOP right now. The same thing. But they, d- they chose to dehumanize women. They chose to dehumanize children. They chose to dehumanize school teachers and textbook authors. All to play this game, this, this grift game, this, this total scam uh, of the, the, the American people 
who look to them for leadership. They're just scamming. They're just playing a game. They're grifting. They're protecting themselves. They're elevating themselves. They're climbing into roles of power on the backs of children and ordinary Americans. Well, you know, it's about time that some of them got stabbed by their own Imperial Floridian Guard. I just don't want to see what's going to happen to the rest of us. Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.